Hello there, friends. This is Seth of the Six LPs, and today we are playing some more Rayman Origins. In this episode of the demo, of course, I'm not playing the actual game. This is not a whole Let's Play, this is just a demo. But apparently the demo includes Murray of the Deep. I assume this is a boss fight, so we will, without further ado, have a fun time destroying the king of fish. Even though I would have thought that that electric eel would have been the king of fish, but I guess no, he was the king of electric eels. Not to be mistaken. Anywho. I don't know, it seems like you should be able to like change characters here and there should be bubbles floating around and I should be able to get rid of this costume because it's ridiculous. I'm just kidding, blue costumes are awesome. But apparently I may not, so I will swim around, grab some lums. I'm not sure what the lums are to accomplish in this considering we do have, well, we have supposedly all the yays of this thing. Well, whatever, oh crap, I should have got that at first. Please allow me to readjust my mistake. I will grab this and then grab all the lums because now they will be worth a billion times more points and by a billion times more, I mean two more because a billion and two are very similar in number. I don't even know. But now, nah, let's, let, let us continue on. Is it just me or do the lums look different? Maybe it's because they're underwater, you know, because they, they're, they're adapted lums because they need to be able to sleep underwater because lums are lazy creatures and they must be able to sleep anywhere. Now, holy crap, don't, 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 that would, have not, that would not be cool. Jeez, water levels, man. This game has them, and that is probably not something we'd be proud of. But whatever, let us continue on. I have the blue suit, so by Zelda logic, I should be fine. Except by heart logic, I'm still fine. So I guess I'm fine all the way around. Except if I die. But I still want that coin, though. That's the problem. The problem is, I want that coin. Oh, I did- I will survive! Oh, oh, RT, 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 what is RT? Oh, that's- oh, you, there's- No, what, what, what? Just when I thought water levels couldn't get cheaper, whatever. I, I, I was gonna assume- oh, you do have to dodge these things. See, that's what- do you, do you get killed by them if they're fleeing, though? Oh, what, there are more of you? So, I, 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 I spoke too soon once more. Just when I thought that it couldn't get even more, even more cheaper in a water level, this happens. It's like, what? You can't, you can't do that. You can't, you can't do, you can't have two of a boss fight in the same place. It's stupid. It's stupid. I, it's stupid. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say I hated you, Beetle. I should have just stayed on that rock. All right. I will actually get this this time. And these pufferfish will not stop me. And if they did, that would kind of suck because I didn't think the pufferfish were any actual threat. And then again, I didn't think that those beetle things were threats because they're supposed to be dead. All right, you can sprint on land too. That's good to know because that explains why I was dying early. Uh, Mr. Coin, doesn't matter. Shouldn't matter. Does matter. All right, random fact. You can sprint on land. I don't know what got into me to think that you couldn't sprint on land considering, you know, it's called sprinting, not called swimming fast, but yeah. You can sprint on land and it's probably the most imperative thing you can do at that point to avoid getting eaten by our good friend Beetle. I don't know, I'm gonna keep, I'm, I'm just gonna keep calling him Beetle. Oh, hey, stop following us. I wonder why. The big fish, bigger fish thing couldn't apply here. Oh, well, it did. What? That is so cheap. I went through those Beetle things for that. Alrighty then. And apparently, so ends the Rayman Origins demo. So sadly, we didn't get to fight McGraw or whatever his name was. I'm gonna call him McGraw, I don't know why, but sounds like a fish type name, especially considering he had, uh, actually McGill, D uh, sorry, McGill. It's, it just has to be McGill. Anyways, I guess, yeah. So that kind of concludes this little mini series I wanted to do. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a lot more mini series like this, probably not too often, but I mean, like, I had nothing to record, and I really wanted to record, and honestly, it was great to get back into recording again. Hopefully I can uh, get Kirby, get on that, do some more Wario Land, all that. And, yeah, so I will see you guys next time I record. The Holy crap, man. Those are some pretty ugly bosses. And by ugly, I mean the coolest friggin' things ever. That looks like it comes straight out of a Metroid game.
There you go. You have basically a whole commercial for the game that I just shoved in there because I'm making money off it. Wait, what? Not even. Why the hell did I make you watch a commercial about the game? I don't even know. But with that, huh? What's over here? I believe that's just the movie we just watched. If it is, I'm probably going to cut it out because I don't want to put too many random senseless commercials. Yeah, it was basically the commercial you just watched. In any event, I suppose that ends the demo for real. And I will see you guys next time I record something uh, with another episode, maybe. I wish I could tell you what I was going to see you guys in next. But I really have no idea as of yet. Could be anything. Including... I'm just kidding. I'm pretty sure there are no demos of that game floating around. And if there is, it'd probably cost more than the actual game. Because it's probably something pretty rare. Yeah. No. Just no. No. Alright friends, thanks for watching. This has been Seth of the Singus LPs, and I hope you've enjoyed the project. Now I suppose since this was a demo of the game, I should probably give my reviews slash first impressions. So far, all I can really say is Rayman Origins is a very entertaining, very well-produced platformer. Honestly, I'd say it probably brings some of the best of the platforming genre along with a mix of a few interesting tweaks to the table. The levels are pretty straightforward, except it has this little completionist twist that would please all the completionists who wish to really invest a lot of time into the game. And I can imagine that the game is very long, yet very entertaining, and worth your while. From what I've seen in the demo, one of the downfalls is linearity, as the levels seem to be generally pretty progressive and linear, but they kind of make up for it in the fact that there are a lot of hidden areas and such that you just kind of have to think twice about, and it really makes it so that you can, even though you have a linear feel to the game, you really have some room to expand and explore on what meets the eye. As I've said, great production. Um, the music, the graphics, everything is really great, really on par with what you would expect from Rayman. And speaking of what you would expect from Rayman, one thing I really like about the game is it has that little fantastical nature that is just really, it's really a staple for the Rayman series I find. And it really helps because, in my opinion, in today's modern day and age where video games sometimes try to be overly realistic, I think it gets away from the point of a video game, which is kind of just to escape into this fantastical world. And I think Rayman really gets it right with this world that jumbles up a bunch of stuff that you would not expect to see together, but in a very creative and artistic way. I've yet to try the multiplayer myself, but I would imagine it's very good considering the gameplay mechanics, the flow of the controls, and just the gameplay overall is very, very fluent, very, very nice. I really like it, and I think that there's little to no chance that they screwed that up with the multiplayer functionality. So I think that if you liked the multiplayer functionality in games like New Super Mario Bros. Wii, you're probably going to really enjoy it in this game. Incidentally on the topic, I'd like to really stress the fact that I found the gameplay was very fluent and the controls were very pleasing, so that is definitely a plus. I definitely look forward to playing some more Rayman Origins, and I think that any fan of the platforming genre will very well enjoy and appreciate this game. If you like what you saw, I do recommend you go pick up the game. You can get it on basically any platform, be it the PS3, the Xbox 360, or the Wii, and if you own an Xbox 360 or PS3, I do recommend you download the demo yourself and give it a shot. I can't guarantee the controls are as good on the Wii, but the list price is $10 lower should you buy the Wii version, so that is definitely something to look into should you own a Wii. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you had a fun time. This is Seth of the Singus LPs, and I hope to see you next time.